welcome friends, I am Meredith, better known around the internet as Mare of All Trades, and today I have a Costco haul to share with you guys. So I'm gonna show you everything that I got, uh, tell you which items were on sale, so let's go ahead and get into this. If you're new here, be sure to uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy grocery hauls and um, unboxings. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Nature's Bounty Hair Skin and Nails Gummies. These are on sale, so I did grab a bottle of them. I really like them, and I do think they make a difference, especially in my nails, but also in my hair. Now, these Lego Advent Calendars, they had three different ones. They had a, a Harry Potter one, they had a Star Wars one, and then they had the Marvel Avengers one. Now, I do know for sure that the Harry Potter one is $10 cheaper at Costco than it is at Target. So, highly recommend you grab it at Costco if you need one. <laughs> so, my kids absolutely love these Lego Advent calendars. And my daughter still plays with the little figurines from last year's. So, I did also get the Nordic Bakeware set. The, you get three sheet pans in this. You get two of the larger half sheet size and one of the quarter sheet size. I have had my baking pans since I got married 19 years ago. And they're looking rough, guys. They're looking very rough. So I decided to grab some new ones. I'll certainly still use my old ones, but these will look much better in my cooking videos. <laughs> Shameless plug. So anyways, uh, Nordicware also, I believe, is a Minnesota-based company. So I love that Costco is supporting a brand that's local to me. Okay, so I did get the Kleenex 10-pack. Now, this is on sale. I think it was $14.99, if I remember correctly. And then I grabbed some of the bath, bath tissue because we're getting low. By the way, there is now a limit of one bath tissue, and that is the same for the paper towels as well, I noticed. Okay, next up, we have the uh, Virgin Coconut Oil, and this is actually for my soap making. Now, if you guys don't already know, I did launch my Etsy shop this weekend. Um, I will leave a little link to the video up above. You guys, I just have to say a huge, huge thank you. Um, you guys kind of blew me out of the water a little bit. I sold out of so much um, during my launch this weekend and I just, I couldn't believe how many of the names that I recognized as longtime subscribers and fellow YouTube channels. So huge, huge thank you, you guys. It means so much to me. I, I just can't even put it into words. So thank you guys so very much for that. So I needed to restock because I need to remake a bunch of soaps uh, that are in my shop as well as get started on some of my uh, later fall and like winter holiday soaps. So I grabbed that. And then they also had these uh, commercial grade food storage containers that come with covers. You get four of them. Um, or no, you get three of them and you get their four quarts each. Um, and these are actually great for soap making because you need to have a pro polypropylene container in order to make uh, cold process soap just because of the saponification, the, the chemical reactions that it goes through. Um, you have to do that. So anyways, got those for soap making and I'm pumped to try them out. I otherwise would have had to order something like that online. So I'm so much happier to get it in person when I can. Okay, so enough about all of that. Uh, I did grab the Jones Canadian Bacon. This is something we get almost every time. Love it, highly recommend it. It's delicious. I went ahead and grabbed the Taylor Farms Organic Mediterranean Crunch Chopped Salad Kit. This is so yummy. Now I will say if you don't like sweeter salad dressings, this might not be for you, but my mother-in-law and I both love it and we think it is delicious. I grabbed some of the Baby Bell uh, cheese circles, discs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, these were also on sale, and I like them because they're a nice, easy, low-carb snack. So if you're running out the door or to throw in a kid's lunch, whatever it might be, these are great. I grabbed the six-pack of Bell Peppers. That's an almost every time thing for us. I went ahead and got the organic uh, strawberries. My kids will have this gone tonight at dinner, so it's not even here anymore. By the time you're watching this video, it's gone. I grabbed the tortillas that we usually get every time. You get two 15 count baggies in here and they last for quite a long time and we love tacos. Okay, so this, yes, I took a bit, bite out of it. It was research purposes for this video, okay guys? I did that for you. Uh, it's pretty darn good. So just 
uh, showing you the label over here. This is the Junior's Apple Crumb Cheesecake. It was pretty darn tasty. It's a New York style cheesecake with apples, cinnamon, topped with a uh, streusel crumb topping. It's tasty. I highly recommend it. Unless, of course, you're trying to lose weight or cut sugars, in which case you didn't see that. Okay, so we did grab the Galaxy Tab. This is the A7 Lite. Um, the school district that we go through, long story, we needed a new tablet. Um, and so I picked this one up. It is $169, I do believe. Um, so yeah, we, we had to get a tablet. <laughs> had to, wanted to, however you want to phrase that. Okay, so I did go ahead and grab the asparagus. This was looking like it was in really good shape and we absolutely love sheet pan roasted asparagus with a little olive oil and salt and pepper, maybe some fresh garlic or a sprinkle of Parmesan. Yum, yum, so delicious and a super easy side. Asparagus is done in like eight to 10 minutes in the oven. Love it. I also went ahead and grabbed the organic French beans. These are delicious, we've had them before. And again, a super easy side for dinner. I like to saute them. All right, so I grabbed the baby spinach, you know, to help balance out the cheesecake, veggies, cheesecake. Life is all about balance, right? Uh, so yeah, I grabbed this. I absolutely love to saute it and throw it into pastas. It's great, um, you know, with our scrambled eggs. You, you know what spinach is for. You get the idea. Anyways, don't let me wax poetic about vegetables. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed the Dunkin' Coffee. This is the original blend medium roast coffee. I think it's pretty darn good and it was on sale, so definitely needed to pick that up. I also got the Vital Proteins Collagen Blend Peptides. Uh, these are good. This is the unflavored one. I've heard that the chocolate one is good if you like a mocha flavor in your coffee. My cousin does that, but I just keep it plain because I like the French vanilla creamer. Speaking of which, they didn't have any at my Costco. I don't know what that's about. So anyways, grab that. Both were on sale. Go-Gurt's pretty standard for us. Johnny Pops. Tasty, also a standard in our house. We got the Jimmy Dean Delights English Muffins. These are the ones that are made with the whole grain muffins, the turkey sausage, cage-free egg whites, and cheese. I really like these. I honestly eat them for lunch just because it's a nice, easy, you know, fixed calorie meal. You get about 260 calories per sandwich. Nice and easy. Um, they were out of the Costco brand applesauce pouches, so I went with the Go Go Squeeze. They had the organic uh, multi flavor pack. You get seven each of the apple strawberry, apple apple, apple banana, and apple cinnamon. So my daughter still eats those quite often. I also got some organic fresh broccoli and some organic frozen broccoli. So this is great toward the end of the month when maybe I'm just about to go to Costco and there's like nothing fresh left in my house. Perfect side for dinner. Okay, let's see what else have I missed here. I got the cage-free eggs. I only got one of them. We haven't been eating as many eggs lately. I don't know what's up. I feel like we just go in cycles and the family just has not wanted eggs lately. So I only picked up one pack because I still have a few left from last month that are still good. Uh, these looked tasty. These are the premium ginger gold apples. So I thought we'd switch it up instead of the Honeycrisp or the Gala. You know, gotta have variety in life. The Skippy peanut butter was on sale, so I went ahead and grabbed that to stock up on the pantry. Multiple of my children love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. The Philadelphia cream cheese is back at Costco, at least in my store. They usually only have it during the lead up to the holiday season, and then they have some off-brand that's just not as good. So, picked that up. Yay for farther out expiration dates. I did also grab the uh, salted sweet cream butter. These are the four four ounce sticks. Guys, I made the mistake last time of grabbing the other box, which was the whole pounds in one piece package, and I didn't realize it when I grabbed it. So make sure you're getting the sticks if that's your jam. I like it, it's easier. This looked interesting and something that I haven't seen at least for quite a while, if ever. This is the Chobani Flips. Uh, this is a 16 pack, so you get four of the s'mores, four of the cookies and cream, four strawberry cheesecake, and four key lime crumble. I thought those looked good, and I figure if my kids want dessert at the end of the day, at least they're getting some protein to go with it. Uh, it looks like they're eight grams of protein per package, so hopefully they will like those. I know the key lime is calling my name. And then, let's see here. Got some English muffins. We're going to do breakfast sandwiches for dinner. Uh, yes, I see the irony of buying that and that. I'm weird. Okay, so I got four of the cheese pizza 
pack, the four pack of pepperoni pizza. Both of these are pretty darn good. And then this is new. This is the Sopraceta bacon and mushroom pizza. You get three pizzas in there and they're supposed to be more of like a uh, wood fired uh, pizza as opposed to, you know, more like these, which are more Americanized, whatever you want to call it, pizza. So I'm going to try this and I will let you guys know what I think of it. We got some of the mama queso because it's good. I got the Kirkland brand dish packs. Now I will say if you watched my Grove Collaborative haul from probably several weeks ago now, the dish packs that I got in there were really good. We have a newer dishwasher though, so I don't know if they would work as well in an older dishwasher, I couldn't tell you, but they've been working great for me. It's just that these ones are such a better price. Let's be honest, it's really, you can't get much cheaper than that. And I do a lot of dishes in this house. <laughs> so. I grabbed the organic tortilla chips. I was glad to see that they were back at my Costco again this time. Love it. And then I got the, sorry for the lighting, it changes over by my door. The cottage bread, this is the village hearth, that's the two pack sandwiches, you know what bread's for. And then I grabbed two gallons of 2% milk. So in total I spent, I think it was $619, but let's be honest, there were some Christmas things in here and a tablet. So you knew it was gonna be expensive, right? All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it every time that you do. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my Costco hauls. And you guys know, I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.